This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. We are in the throes of an election year. We're, we're getting closer and closer. Can you believe it's 2024? And in November, we're going to pick the next president of the United States. Donald Trump is running again, wants to be president again, largely to extricate himself from his legal troubles, the morass that is surrounding him, that he is enveloped in. And the media largely is not doing a good job. They're making this a standard horse race between two just standard, regular, historical figures in American history. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, a couple of just old dudes. It's just who they are. It's what it is. There's no particular unique danger posed by Donald Trump. He's not pledging to end democracy. He hasn't in the past signaled that it's time to terminate all articles up to and including the Constitution of the United States. He's not said that. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has. Some people in the media, though, are doing a good job. People like Jen Psaki, former press secretary for Joe Biden, now has a, a weekend show, I believe just a weekend show, on MSNBC. And she devastated Donald Trump and Donald Trump supporters. And that's really the crux of what I want to talk about today, that the media needs to quit playing kid gloves. I stopped a long time ago. I, I mean, typically I do uh, aim my ire at Republican elected officials because they're the ones who are doing the most damage. But without Republican voters, those people wouldn't be elected and able to do the damage that they do. And Jen Psaki just dispensed with all of the, the niceties and the nonsense and called it like she sees it. And we need more of this from media figures with platforms as large as these people. Watch Jen Psaki and marvel at the job that everybody else should be doing right now. I mean, let's just take the last couple of days because just over the last three days, Trump gave three of the most bizarre, unhinged, bigoted, very hard to follow speeches I have ever heard him give. He trivialized black voters with a disgusting and racist rant on Friday night, claiming that the black community likes him more because he was indicted and has a mugshot. I mean, he referred to himself as a political dissident on Saturday, which is an insult to real political dissidents around the world, of which there are many. He also cast November's election as, quote, judgment day. And that's just a sampling, a sampling of the concerning nonsense we've heard over the past few days. Republican voters know that this is who he is. And they showed us once again last night that this is what they want. Remember, these voters were presented with plenty of alternatives to Trump. A super conservative governor and culture warrior from Florida. A super conservative senator from South Carolina. A never Trump former governor from New Jersey. All very different, imperfect in some of their own ways, but all perfectly rational alternate options. And they were all tossed aside by the majority of the Republican electorate. Voters did not want any of them. They want the day one dictator. That's who they want. They like the guy who echoes Adolf Hitler and idolizes Vladimir Putin. They want the promises of retribution. They want a leader free from the rule of law. They want something different than democracy. And guys, I'm here to tell you that the only person standing in the way of all of that right now is this guy right here, President Joe Biden. She's right. 100% right. Donald Trump is a racist, anti-democratic criminal, a fraudster. Uh, she didn't even get into some of the details she could have. Not only does he echo uh, Adolf Hitler and idolize dictators, he has invited Nazis to dinner. And the media wants to make it just a straight up race between just a couple of old dudes. We face an existential crisis in this election. Whether or not we continue to be a democracy, and for all of the assholes, and there are many who call and, oh, we're a constitutional republic. That is true. That is a form of democracy. Because in a constitutional republic, we have representative government. And how is it that those representatives get there? through democratic vote, dipshits. We need more of this 
from, from people like Jen Psaki. But it can't be up to just her. It can't be up to just people in my position in independent media who are not funded by commercials and, and have the, the, the hundreds of millions of dollars of, of, of bankroll from corporations. We need people like you to talk about this election with your friends and your family and your coworkers and your acquaintances, your relatives. Because while it's true that the, va that the majority of Republicans are here for Donald Trump, they want him back in. They don't mind his pledge to terminate the Constitution of the United States. They don't mind all of that. I mean, it's true the majority do, do not mind. But there is a vocal minority, not enough to get Nikki Haley uh, to win a primary, but certainly a sizable percentage that will peel away. And those are the people we need to reach with the radicalism of Donald Trump. And this is where the media fails, that they don't cover, they don't bang the drum of just how radical he is. Instead, they make J Joe Biden and Donald Trump uh, kind of on level playing field as far as what their policies are and what they prescribe for the future of America. Donald Trump incited an insurrection against the country in an attempt to overturn the election he had just lost. And the media, you don't hear about. It. Anyway, I would love your opinion on this. I would also love a pledge. In fact, let's play a game. Let's play a game. In the comments, talk about your pledge uh, of getting Joe Biden elected, of securing our democracy. Look, is Joe Biden, was he my first choice in 2020? No, he was not. He's not even my first choice now. I would rather there be someone else. But that's not what the situation we face. <clears throat> we need to face reality on reality's terms. What's your pledge? I'd love to know. You can leave a comment below. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I know I'm going to get shit for saying he's not my first choice. <clears throat> Maybe I should just say save it because I'm still going to vote for the guy. I like Joe Biden. I think he's a good man, but I think there's uh, alternatives out there that we should uh, we should be considering. And, and given the fact that's not happening I'm going to deal with reality again on reality's terms. If you appreciate what I do and you want to help support this work, produce this work, click the join button below, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. If I was able to marshal the size of my growing audience, almost 600,000 subscribers, and just a scant percentage were to become channel members, we could grow and uh, fundamentally transform what we do here. And that would be... I think good for a number of different reasons. <laughs> you can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast uh, if, if you ch YouTube channel membership is not your thing. Um, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram and threads and TikTok and Facebook. I'd love to see you there. Building a community everywhere. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine and take care of one another.